if you got phone, laptop, and a Wi-Fi, you know, you can learn this funding game. You might have to take notes on this bitch. Hey, welcome back to the Famous and Wealthy Podcast, man. We got my boy Billionaire Bays in the building, man. Today we're finna be talking about credit and funding, man. Tell us a little bit about credit and funding, my boy. Yes, sir, man. I'm I'm happy to be here. Blessed to be here. Um, yeah, man, it's been it's been a journey. I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to to getting it going. For sure, for sure. Yeah. How you got into it? Like most black people learned about credit after I had already messed it up. Um, yeah. you know, played in the NFL for a little bit, bounce around, tried just about every hustle you can think of, Airbnb, right. Turo, trucking, vending machines, all of that, you know, and and I was hustling my money, pulling it together, trying to get the cash to to start all these side hustles. And really, you know, what I kept running into was this wall of not having funding, you know, to right. to to really get these businesses a legit shot. So I uh, really started repairing my credit on the low. I uh, repaired my credit from the low 400s to high 700s in 90 days. Ooh. Got access to 150000 and scaled my Airbnb business. That's how I ran out my first bag. Oh, uh, okay. What's the most money you ever made? In a month? Uh, from Airbnb, about 90000 But May, and I got receipts if I need to pull them up, we did 150000 for my funding company. Damn. Yeah. So you just mentioned that you was in the NFL. How was that like? Man, so, uh, man, that's a dream for everybody growing up. And, uh... You know, the beautiful thing about mentorship is being able to see people, you know, like you, Dion, different people that, you know, show us people of color this another way, you yeah. know, but grew up, want to make it to the league like everybody else, you know, bounce around from a couple different practice squads, played in Canada, you know, and I got done, didn't know what I was going to do, depressed, you know, trying to find my way. And, uh, you know, I knew I was mentally unemployable, you know, whenever I was, whenever I was doing that, because... You know, you got a free schedule. You have a couple hours of practice, and then you free the rest of the day. So, you know, it's a beautiful thing to, to transition into entrepreneurship, and and you know, being in this mindset all my life of you eat what you kill. You know, it really it really set me up. So for you know, I do credit repair. Um, but how do you feel about people thinking credit repair is a scam? So I feel like most people feel like credit repair is a scam because they don't understand what really go into it. They might pay somebody two, three hundred dollars, and and they not realizing they mess they mess up their credit over the span of their whole lifetime, you know, and they expecting everything to be fixed overnight when that's not necessarily the case, you know. So um, a lot of people just just don't realize what really go into it. All right. So have you ever got somebody funding? Yeah. So um, I actually got somebody funding in May. Like I said, that was my biggest month. I got somebody a million dollars in funding. So. Um, it's a pretty nice payout. Million, million dollars? Yeah, a million dollars in funding. But a mix between business and personal funding. So uh, okay. it's a nice little payout for me for sure. Right, right. So you work with a lot of people right now as far as students? Yeah, so so right now in my community, we have over 500 students. So, yeah, we're going crazy in there. Yeah, uh, we're going crazy. What's like one of the biggest losses you ever took? Oof, I, I'm still I'm still, still trying to stomach that one, my lady will tell you. But um, I lost a 40 ball probably a couple months ago, actually, uh, about 40,000. Trying to trying to run a play um, with one of my clients, you know, not 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 staying on top of stuff the way that I was supposed to, um, you know, and and it was an expensive haircut, but you know, it's not the first expensive haircut I had. So, yeah. So for somebody that's watching, that's you know, that was in that same position, like, how can you motivate them to keep going? Because most people, if they lose something like that, they will like just give up. Like, you know, like what makes you still, you know, hungry to get to the top? Yeah, I, I think it's just one of them things, man. Like, like. I went to college, got a degree, but, you know, kicked out of high school. You know, I grew up fucked up. So, you know, um, I just felt like I've had this calling in on my life, you know, really to just take care of my family and provide for my family. And it's a lot of people counting on me. And, you know, you know, it's a lot of people that need to hear this message. A lot of people that need to break free from, you know, just getting by. So um, really, that's what really that's what keep me going. What have college done for you? College taught me how to think, I would say. You know, I, I tell people all the time, I went to I went to college to make it to the NFL, mm. you know, and so knowing what I know now, I probably wouldn't have went, you know, if I probably would have tapped into a mentorship or something sooner. Right. You know, um, I got a business degree, but how somebody that's that's only making fifty thousand a year could tell you how to make a million dollars. For sure. You know, so you know, it's 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 something that's necessary if you don't really know what you want to do, but you know. It's it's a way to push people out the house because you know you can't just throw an eighteen year old out on the streets. They might you know. So to me, I feel like college is like literally just networking. Yeah. You know what I mean. And depending on what crowd you get in, that's where you'll be end up at. Yeah. But uh, do you believe college is a scam? 
man, truth be told, I think college is a scam. Yeah. You know, um, it, it's crazy that they'll give uh, an 18 year old 250,000 in student loans, but they won't give you 25,000, you know, in business funding to start right. a business or something. So, you know, it's just, it's just part of this whole matrix they got us in, man, to keep people ensnared. And shit, I'm starting to realize like, you know, everybody not, you know, meant to, to be bosses. Yeah. Yeah. To, it's not for everybody. You know, it's, it's a lot that come with this. So, you know, how I always looked at school is like jail. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's the same lunch. It's the same. It just depends on if you go to like a different private school or something like that. But the community schools are similar to jail. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, I always just thought about it like a person can't really teach me how to make millions of dollars if they're only making forty, fifty thousand nice. dollars a year. So I was always like, like they got to be set up to like, you know, be something that's like made to bring us down. You know what I mean? Yeah. Facts. Now, yeah. if the teacher was a millionaire, you know right. what I mean, and was pulling up the school with damn right. Lamborghinis and all that, Facts. man, I'd be in, I'd be yeah. in school every day, all day. How, how you going to show me how to do something you ain't ever did? And then you mad when you come to school. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, so yeah. it's, that's how it always been with me. Like, I literally didn't even go to high school. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, man, the, the whole college thing is, is, such a, is such an interesting thing because, you know, people will look at stuff like, you know, reading and writing and, and think because somebody can't add or subtract that they might not be very smart. But right. it's people that know how to read music. It's people that know how to break down a credit report, you For know. Sure. And For at sure. the end of the day, shit, I ain't never used a Pythagorean theorem in, in my life. Me you either. know what I'm saying? So, so it's, it's just... I probably still don't know how to do that shit. I don't. I, like, hey, I don't hey, probably you, that math stuff that they was you, doing. I am sure I don't know how to do none you, of that. You grab a you grab a sheet of paper right now. I ain't gonna be able to man, add and subtract. Hey, you have somebody come in here and outdo me so fast, but hey, but, but I can thumb through it fast though. You better say it. So look, I was about to say as far as you know credit, right? What can you give game about trade lines? You know what I mean? Like I started telling people about trade lines in 2020. Um, what is your outlook on the trade line game, primary game? Like, what so, can it do for them to help? Man, so so the primary game is is super important. The, the trade line game, a lot of people get caught in, like, the credit score. You know, I have people DM yep. me all the time, like, yep. I got a 700 score. I should be able to at least get a, a 100,000. And it's yep. like, but they profile us then. They might have a little $15,000 auto loan or something on there. But uh, an ideal credit report, you know, the trade line's made to beef up the credit report, the age, yep. you know, the utilization. But... When it comes time to getting funded, you know, you want to have 10 to 12 primary accounts. No cap. Yeah. No negative items on your reputation. Yeah. You know, no more than three to four increase per bureau. You know, and you want to keep that utilization down because, you so, know. So you're basically saying that it's not about the score. It's really about the history. The history and the profile. A lot of people get caught up in a score, but it's it's the profile because it's like, I might have a 680, but I might have a better reputation than somebody that got a, a 800, but they only got two accounts on their credit. Mm-hmm. And it's like we both walking into the bank and it's like you seeing I'm paying a bunch of people on time and then paid a lot of people off and I got a clean face. You're going to give me the bag before somebody else that got a thin report. Mm. In the past, right, what is one thing you would have done differently? You know what I mean? If you could if you could change something in the past to be more successful, what is something that you would have done differently? Man, the main thing that I would change, I would say is is watching stuff like this and not tapping in with these type of people sooner, man. Cause mm-hmm. it's like, I will watch people like you, like I watch you for for years and years, or I will watch people for years and years and not tap in, yeah. And I will watch them continue to elevate, you know. And instead of just going ahead and and letting go of those few dollars I was holding on to, right. you know, you know, and ten x in my money, yeah. six months later, you know, I waited a year and then ten x my money, and it's like, damn, I could have could have either took that L faster and moved on, or I could have yeah. leveled up quicker. So I always tell people like. I'd rather see a person that's up and coming and ride their wave quicker. You know what I mean? Because, like, yeah. I always tell people, like, whatever I spend, I promise you I'm going to make my money back off yeah. you. You know what I mean? Because I'm going to capitalize off you regardless. Facts. I don't need you. I'm going to know how to capitalize yeah, off facts. you. facts. But um, why do you believe that most businesses fail? Man, I feel like most businesses fail for a number of different reasons. You know, one of the main ones I would say is, is you know, a lot of people are, are slaves to their business, working in their business, employees of their business. They're not business owners. You know, so um, they're working around the clock, don't really have free time to spend time with their family, you know, and a lot of that comes down to having access to funding and capital because, you know, once you have money to to hire employees, to put systems in place, then that's when you become a boss because, shit, yeah. you know, you're not trading time for money. Right. At that Break point. it down to us on how you get people funding. Yeah, so we, we get people funding in a number of different ways. So 
the main thing we do is is we leverage banking relationships. So, you know, I've really taken myself through this process. You know, I, I actually had to to binge the YouTube. I paid for mentors, really learn how to how to clean my credit and get myself funded. So throughout this process, I've had to to bump my head, you know, and I've developed these relationships with banking reps, you know, who are able to push the applications through for us. So you might go and apply for a, a car with Chase or Truist or whoever, and they might give you five thousand with a with a perfect credit report. But I might have somebody have a six eighty and they might get fifty, seventy five thousand. So we're leveraging the banking relationships, and then one of the one of the this this some sauce right here I'm about to give. We leverage pre approval tools, so we got the Credit Karma app, AMX pre approval tools, different pre approval tools where somebody might not necessarily be ready to get funding, but we are gonna go run a stuff through the pre approval tools, see you know what we might be able to get them, and then if it's a green light, we are gonna run it. Mm, that's hard. So you help people clean credit, right? Yeah. So. I, I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get away from it because they 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 beat my door down with with, with pitchforks. But but yeah. but yeah, I, I do. So as far as that, how do you do it though? Yeah. So right now, um, right now I'm doing it the tra- tra- the traditional way, um, consumer law, sending out the law, the letters, stuff like that. Um, uh, but right now I'm working on on implementing a software that, that has the same laws and codes that I use to clean my credit. So yeah. I'll be releasing that soon. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I know Dion, he got something like that about the AI. Yeah, yeah. So we use Metro 2 compliance to do that. So it's it's a lot of the same laws. There's different ways to dispute. But, you know, with, with the Metro 2 compliance, it's like anybody who don't have any experience, yeah. they can they can upload their credit report, and then, and then it'll identify all those negative items, and then you can just get all that stuff deleted. Mm. And a dope thing about that, too, is, you know, you don't have to have a lot of experience or know anything about credit to utilize something like that. So right. that's, that's something that's dope. So what do you think the biggest thing that stopped people from achieving their goals? The biggest thing I would say stop people from achieving their goals is hesitation. Like I said earlier, sure. it's like it's like, you know, people people be scared to take take risks. And, you know, I I, I joke with my shorty all the time. I'm I'm a mentorship and information whore. Like, yeah, you know, I'm sure. I'm I'm a somebody well, got a sure. somebody gotta got be. a course or, or some information or some sauce, a method, you know. <laughs> a method, a, yeah. a method, I'm gonna pay for the method, <laughs> you know, and and, Bro, gonna pay for and, that and method. I'm I'm gonna pay for the method. So yeah. You know, whatever it takes, you know, and, and a lot of people just, you know, I think the other thing, too, is a lot of people go into opportunities with the wrong mindset. You know, yeah. they think that they're supposed to find a pearl in every oyster, you know, instead of just looking at it as like, OK, this this what I'm learning over here is one thing that I can add to this. And then you just keep leveling up and stacking your skills on top of each other and make you an animal. So what is your biggest piece of advice, you know, on someone trying to start a business? Man, my biggest piece of advice on somebody trying to start a business is is find somebody, you know, somebody that's already making money and really, you know, really find somebody that's that's making money doing something that you're passionate about, you know, and and really lock in with them and learn from them and, and pay for their mistakes, you know, so you don't have to make those same mistakes and, and you can accelerate your success. What is some inspiration you can give somebody that's like watching us right now that's thinking about like giving up, you know what I mean, right now? Man, I, I would say... You know, whenever you in that in that in that employee mindset, you know, you're really just working and you trading trading time for money. You know, clocking in at a job every day is is hard to really see yourself getting out of that. But but you really gotta gotta take a step outside of that and and start to sacrifice. You know, whether that's whether that's time watching Netflix or whatever it might be, um, to really start to find ways to get ahead. You know, and and once you start to do that, whether that's you know me, you know I, I'm gonna beat up that road. So, it, right. so um, whether it's starting a side hustle or something like that, um, you never know how close you are really to 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 really leveling up. You know, so you just gotta keep pushing through. You know, one day at a time. And and I would really say is is like just really maximize your free time. You know, I I grew up fucked up. You know, I got kicked out of three or four high schools. Yeah. You know, I was a freshman. You know seven, eight people sharing a one bedroom apartment with my mom, sharing a bunk bed with my mom as a freshman. And, you know, just to, to see that transformation of where I am now. And I haven't even been in the credit space that long. I had a $150,000 month, two months ago, you know, and I've been in the space probably, you know, I've been in and out of the space over a decade, but I've been really, you know, cleaning people's credit and running my funding company maybe six months. So, you know, somebody took that same situation that you complain about and bodied it. So mm. you just got to figure it out. So, are you in a relationship? Yeah, man, I got a, I got a shorty, man. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, on the clock. I'm sweating now. <laughs> um, what do you think about going fifty fifty in a relationship? Man, so I um, 
I got a couple icks, man. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, yeah. one, one of the things that, that, that I can't get behind is like a man who don't work. Right. You know, and I, and I really believe in traditional roles, you know, the, the man's supposed to provide, you know, and I believe that women should operate in their most peaceful state. You know, that's not having to stress or worry about bills mm-hmm. and stuff like that. You know, so I'm, I'm a well-documented trick. So, oh, for you know, sure, you sure. know, my, wh- whoever, whoever with me, you know, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to get bossed up. Yeah. They, <laughs> yeah, sure. They're going to get bossed up. Yeah. <laughs> so do you think that like, okay, when you like, for instance, with me, right. Um, you know how like we learn a lot, you know, we make a lot of money, but like sometimes um, like somebody I might be dealing with might not be on the same page as me, like as far as like trying to learn the same information as me or something like that. Like, yeah. what do you feel about that? Like, cause you know how like you want the best for everybody around you, including Facts, your friends, yeah. even your family members. Man, I'm telling so you. let's say if I got a credit score of 900 and I got all these loans and then it's like, baby, you've been around me. But if you're not taking the same information, um, like that I'm given because there's a lot of girls that uh, get around a guy for three, four, five years, but don't learn the information Man, he knows. I'm telling you. And then like, let's say if we break up, you got to watch me still be at the top when you could have been on the same level as Man. me. Like, how, What's your intake on that? Man, Matalo. Um, yeah. You got to get out of here. Um, I think, you know, it's, I go back and forth, right? Because I feel like at the same time, I don't want a woman that's like in her masculine trying to yeah. out hustle me and outshine me. But at the same time too, you know, whether I'm doing e-commerce or 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 credit i need her to be support licking stamps and and sticking exactly. to the envelopes but, with me and stuff yeah. like that so so for me you know i gotta have somebody that's 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 step for step with me i just really feel like at the end of the day it's it's it's, it's hard it's hard for dudes like us you look good teeth yeah, yeah. iced out yeah. you know making make making a little money changing your pocket so you know it's treacherous out here yeah for sure like it's just like i feel like if we dealing with anybody it should be almost like a good assistant like Facts. I shouldn't have to hire anybody on the outside, like that's close. Facts. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if I ask you to do something and like you act too busy or you act this, that, like, yeah. it's like I'm gonna replace that. So yeah, I get that. Yeah, no, I joke with my shorty all the time, man. I, I, uh, you know, somebody, somebody trying to negotiate with me on a price or something. I say, let me get with accounting and I get back with you. So you got me interested, bro. Like I want to start a funding company. You know what I mean? Like how do I get that started? Man, so the beautiful part about starting a funding company, man, is is anybody can do it. You know, so right now, truth be told, I still work a nine to five. So I uh, so I haven't left my nine to five yet, man. And I'm and I'm working part time hours running my funding company, probably 15 to 20 hours a week, yeah. you know, and, and we averaging probably 50, 60,000 a month, you know, and I, and we just really filling our application. So I'll break it down what it is. So essentially, really, all you're doing is is finding entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, you know, everyday people that that need to get access to funding to start grow and scale their dream business capital and then you charge in a 10% fee on the back end or you know if you want to charge them up front you can charge them up front so if I was to get you a hundred thousand dollars I make a 10 piece 200,000 20 300,000 right. so on and so forth so that's how I ran up that 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 85 piece 100 piece yeah. in, in, in May so um it's, it's it's pretty straightforward pretty simple so look let me um ask you a, what is like the average credit score they have to be to actually get the, because ain't, ain't it kind of difficult to find people to get that type of funding? Man, so truth be told, you know, w- one of the beautiful things that, you know, I talked about, everybody doesn't have to necessarily have, and, and this is some real sauce right here, so I'm going to I'm gonna have to make sure yeah, I'm looking yeah, at the camera yeah. on this. This is some real sauce. So everybody doesn't, you know, a lot of these gurus online will tell you that you have to have a, a perfect credit report. I know earlier I talked about having the, the different metrics to be able to 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 go, to go and get that funding. But in reality, as long as you got a 700 credit score, we can go and get you a personal loan or something like that. And then what we're going and doing is depositing the money from the personal loan into a business bank account. And then that way, whenever they go and pull the credit, they might they might say, okay, you know, he deposited 50,000. We know we can at least give him 50,000 on a business credit card. And then we pulling that money out, going to different banks, depositing it in different banks before that, that personal loan reports to your credit report. And so... If you're in a if you're in a six hundreds, mid six hundreds to high six hundreds, you can go on a Credit Karma app, something that's free, the Credit Karma app, and on the loans tab, it'll it'll let you know what loans you might be approved pre approved for. It'll let you know what credit cards you might be pre approved for. So that's one of the tools I leverage. And then Credible.com, C R E D I B L E. I think I spelled that right. Yeah. Um. Basically, what they do is you can put for anybody wherever your credit is right now. 
you can go and enter in your information and then they'll soft pull all three of your credit bureaus and let you know what options you have to to get funding. So Damn. that's that's a dope play. Damn. That's a dope play that we leverage. So so we're not missing out on no money. So whenever I talk about starting a funding company, you just gotta get somebody to say yes. You know, somebody say yes, you know, truth be told, you just you just applying for stuff and charging them a fee on the back end. So we got these pre-approval tools where we don't gotta drag their credit through the mud. You know, we can go check the Credit Karma app. We can go check Credible.com and put the information. Boom, hundred thousand loan. That's a ten piece for you. Mm. You work. You work in Amazon. Right. That's 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 a little ten thousand on the side. So really, essentially, essentially, like I said, all we're doing is 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 this is a proven system that we use. We got the team in place. You know, to save you the headache of of running your credit through the mud, taking the time trying to figure it out on your own. We're able to. With our with our funding sequences, go and get you that funding, and you could have it, you know, within thirty days or less. Mm. So, how many banking accounts um, you think a person should have, you know, starting out with a credit credit score like seven hundred? I would say if if a person, a lot of people get caught up in like a lot of the 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 gimmicks and stuff like yeah. that, you know. Um, I, I'm not a CPA, so I, so I wouldn't say, you know, necessarily what 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 how many accounts a person should have but yeah. every time i i learn about a, a a new method or a new play you know my credit good so i'm going to open up that bank account so i can and put some bread in it so i can i can run a play so you know having a a personal a personal bank account you know something that that your w2 or your job check go into yeah. and then having a business account i would say is is so for most people um that usually have like an age llc or age corp um they usually open up anywhere from you know 4 to eight banking accounts. Mm -hmm. And then if they got a good credit score, they'll apply for all these different credit cards and stuff like that. And they'll get over 200 to 600 to $800,000 in credit because it's different banks. Yeah. Because this bank wants your money. That bank wants your money. You know what I mean? They want to give you funding here. They want to give you funding there. And you wouldn't really know until you actually open up all these banking accounts to know if they want a relationship with you or not. That's why I was asking like, I know people that I got 12, 13 banking accounts yeah. open because it's different credit unions, it's different banking accounts. Um, yeah, I, I don't have a lot of my stuff with me, but I got a lot of cards. I got a lot of bank accounts, but I think like, you know, for people that are that are still in survival mode, yeah. you know, going and opening up all those bank accounts and yeah. having to try to spread and, and sure. pay the monthly fees and stuff like that, you know, my thing is like, keep the main thing the main thing. Like we need to get out of survival mode, ha have some extra money coming in because most people are in a break even position or a deficit position. So that means yeah. everything that they got coming in monthly income, they either spending it all, so they breaking even, or they spending more than what they bring in. So mm. it's having them behind. So what we really want to do is get in position to be in a surplus position where whether we got a side hustle, doing something like starting a funding company using only five, 10 hours a week, you can go ahead and, and, and really start to see your life change and really get ahead. No, that makes sense. So look, so you telling me that you can still work a job and make the type of money that you making um, off of funding and stuff like that. Like, how do you, how do you stay motivated like that? Like you like working for somebody and still, you know, getting your money. Like you ain't ever thought about like, Let me just focus strictly on this part of the funding or how that work. Yeah. Like I said, so for me personally, like I said, I, I became mentally, you know, mentally unemployable a long time ago, whenever I got a taste of that, that NFL money, I think, you know, at the time we were probably getting, 10,000 a week on a practice squad. So I knew there was more out there, you know, and it's, it's just something about somebody telling me, you know, when I, when I got to show up and when I got to leave and, and, and yeah. me working my hardest to only get a couple thousand dollar raise every year, you know, but at the same time, I'm still there. I haven't let it go yet. So really it's just, it's, it's really just one of those things where it's like, a lot of people have a lot of excuses and that's one of the things that, that I get in my DMs all the time. I'm like, Oh, you know how people, they want their credit fixed. And I'm like, okay, well this, this is price. the price to get yeah. your credit fixed. And they're like, well, that's too expensive. Where it's like, okay, well I got a software where you could do it on your own. And they're like, well, I don't really got time to, to, yeah. to do that yeah. either. So, you know, really you just have to eliminate the excuses, you know? And like I said, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm sitting on the couch with, with my lady, we watching, she got me watching trash TV. So we looking at love Island and, Kardashians and stuff, but yeah. but I'm filling out applications. Boom, eighty five thousand approval. I'm knowing that's ten percent. That's that's eighty five hundred yeah. in my no, pocket. For sure, for sure. You know, I'm 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 going to work the next day, skinning and grinning, checking my phone, trying to see if the wire hit. So, damn. You know, it, it's something that everybody can do, and it, and it'll and it'll have you how you walking around with your your chest out like, man, they, they 
Right. Talking to me like I'm 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 right. making what making what my manager make in a in for a sure, for in, sure. in a year in a month. No, so like as far as mentor, what uh what prices do you charge to be like, you know, on your team type shit? If somebody watching and they want to tap in with you, what would you charge them? Yeah, so right now I have my community. Um so so I really don't believe in 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 charging people for for stuff that should be free. So Mm. Um, you know, I really had to get out the mud and, and really my focus right now is impacting as many people as possible, making the information as accessible as possible. So right now, the main thing that I have going is just my community. Um, you know, that's, that's just a community. We got about 500 people in there right now. Um, we're teaching you how to clean your credit, how to build it up, how to set up your LLC and how to go and get funding. But for people that are really ready to go to the next level yeah. and, and, and want me to hold their hand, I do have a funding course in, in place right now where, where basically I'm teaching people how to how to run a funding company and, and start a funding company where I'm basically holding somebody's hand to build a funding company in a box. So mm. the my offer with that is, and I got five people in that in that mentorship right now, and and I hold everybody's hand until they make at least fifty thousand guaranteed Damn. and make their investment back in the first thirty days. So oh, the thing, hard. the beautiful thing about a funding company is, like I said, it's all profit. So that's when I say if if you got you got a phone in your pocket, you got a laptop, you can run a funding company. You know, I'm mm. I'm you got the free trial on DocuSign and send out the agreement and right. and you get the yes, you have them email you all this stuff over to your Gmail email, you get you get busy. <laughs> yeah, start hard. filling out them applications, just make sure you got got you a, a Stripe account or something that you can send them invoices and or a cash app, whatever you use to have them send the bread to you. So it's 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 pretty simple. You know, I, I think a lot of people just make excuses. No, for sure. How do you feel about people that make excuses? Man, I feel like excuses like assholes. Everybody got one. Yeah. So uh. you know, um, you know, I think it's just it's just one of those things of of people have to really look in the mirror and realize like, do you really want to be free, or do you do you really just you know want to to look like you lit? You right, know, I think it's right. a lot of people online that 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 really want to look like they lit. They want to how to that chain and that watch nice, by the way, I ain't gonna lie to you, but, <laughs> but you know, it's a lot of people that want to look like they lit, you know, yeah. as opposed to actually really being lit. Cause a lot of people, you know, where they, where they mess up, they realize it's not about, it's not about how much you spend. It's about how much you keep, you know, exactly. and it's a lot of people, you know, walking around with it on, but, but you tell them open up that checking account. They, yeah. Looking the tab crazy. come out. They separate, yeah. separate, please separate. Yeah. You know, right, so, right, right. Yeah. so let me ask you something, right? Today, if you were dead broke right now and you had to start over, what would you do? So, if I was dead broke right now, this is what I would do. I'm gonna give y'all the, this, this, this a game plan right here. So, I want somebody at least if if one person watching this will just take what I say and really lock in on this, your life can change in six to twelve months. And I know that for a fact because my life has changed in six to twelve months. So. You want to start a side hustle. Like I said before, everybody's in, in, in three positions currently. So you're either in a deficit position. If you're in a deficit position, that means you are spending more than what you're currently making. So you need to cut out the Netflix, cut out the subscriptions, all of that. If you want to break even position, that means you're spending all of what you make. So you're just breaking even every month. You're not able to put anything back. We want to get to where we're in a surplus position. So we got to stop making excuses, whether that's, whether that's going to a barber that might not be as hard as is is the barber that you go to, you know, um, so that you can cut back a little bit and get kind of in that position of where you're playing offense, starting a side hustle like Uber, DoorDash, Instacart, something like that. And then take that money and really invest into repairing your credit. So you can get access to 100000 in capital faster than you could save 100000 It's people that make, shit, I make six figures for my nine to five, and I can't save 100000 you know, from doing that. So... You want to repair your credit, clean that credit up, man. Just it's 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 you just got to get ugly. It's gonna be grimy, and you just got to be patient with it, and really clean that credit out, man. Just cut out the fun, really lock in, clean that credit up. Then you want to really just build it out. So so once you clean that credit up, you want to build it out. You want to start adding credit builder accounts, kickoff, Ava, Tomo, Rent Reporters. Everybody talk about Rent Reporters. You can report your rent. Um, boom pay is another is another good one. And then you want to add two credit cards with at least three to five thousand dollar limits. And then once you got all of that stuff, you're gonna get you the bag, get you a hundred thousand to hundred and fifty thousand in funding, and then just chill on it. Have have some patience, some financial discipline, find you somebody that that's making money. 
we overcomplicated, man. Find somebody that got the shit that you want and 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 pay them to teach you what they know. So exactly. once you get the bag, go and do that. Come come holler at me. I got you. For sure, for sure. So as far as like a mentorship, right? Um, do you have a coach? Like how have it changed your life? Man, so I uh you know, having mentors really changed my life, man. Truth be told, like I said, it's 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 not very many people that, you know, that are that are teaching the stuff, like I said, in college yeah. or yeah. or at your job. Even your parents, you know, your parents might be telling you how. Man, even your parents might be telling you how you know you need to live, you know, or, or what yeah. you need to do, you know. And it's like, how my mom gonna tell me how to be a millionaire? It's, it's like it's like it's like <laughs> yeah, it's like, right. it's like even, it's like even my shorty. It's like when I first you know invested in my first mentor, yeah, fifteen hundred. We both was like, yeah, you know. And 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 that investment turned into, into you know me learning how to run a funding company. You know I I'm, I had a, my first six figure month six months later. So you know yeah. I, I would really say mentorship really changed my life, man. And, and really you know you know if you can get in a room with people whose day to day lives look like your dream life, then you're in a great position, man. We th- this internet is a beautiful thing, man. It's no, like sure. it's like it is. people looking at this internet as entertainment and oh this stuff is cap and people not really making that money. Yeah. You mean to tell me you don't want to let a couple dollars go to find out if if what they re- if if what they really talking about is that risk is not worth it to you, man? But did it, you see yourself at this point right here? Man, truth be told, I'm 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 on the rise, you know. Yeah. Um. So, but but man, it's a beautiful thing. I did see myself right here. You know, I've been telling myself I'm gonna be a millionaire for a long time. Um. You know, I thought that it would come through the NFL. Yeah. And uh, that's something that I'm still trying to, trying to, trying to stomach. But you know, a lot of them dudes, they're gonna get done, and they ain't gonna know how to, how yeah. to, how to make money. Yeah, you know, man, I'm, man. I, I can, I can, I can run up an NFL check, you know, in a, in a day, in a month, okay. you know. Okay. So, yeah. In this space, right? It's a lot of like competition. It's like overcrowded, right? Mm-hmm. What are some of your plans and goals um, that you have in place to be able to get your name bigger? Man, so for me right now, man, you know, like I said, I'm I'm really just teasing, my, really just teasing my mentorship because for me, you know, my main focus is really impacting people, you okay. know. So so obviously, you know, I, I want to get my name bigger. That's something that's important to me. But you know, I just do my best and let God do the rest. So mm-hmm. for me right now, it's really just locking in on the community that I have and the people that are continuing to still join this movement, you know, and and really just pouring my energy and heart into really changing their lives and you know. In doing so, you know, I know I'll reap the benefits of that. So that's really just, just really just my main focus, really just, just really giving and pouring into the people, you know, tapping in with me. So have you made millions yet? Yeah. So I, I'm, uh, I'm on track to do my first million this year, you okay. know, so month to date or year to date, you know, we at half a mil right now. So, oh, that's good. you know, we, we doing good, man. And, and, and like I said, I haven't, I haven't been in this space long. It's probably been a year to date, you know, really. November, December, where I really, really start getting serious. Like, man, let me take this this stuff serious. So, you know, and and how quickly it's changed my life, man. I'm so grateful. And you know, for anybody that's watching this, you know, don't hesitate. You know, you gotta you gotta gotta find somebody, and and you can keep bumping your head against the wall trying to figure it out on your own, or right. you can find somebody that that got what you want and and pay for their mistakes and mm-hmm. and learn. So what you gonna do with your first million? My first million, that's a great question, man. I was about to cop a Lambo like two weeks ago, but uh, <laughs> my, my mentor Dion said it, it ain't time yet. He said you don't need no yeah. no lamb chop, you don't need no AP, nothing like that. But soon as I soon as I that lamb coming first for sure. Yes, yeah, yeah. we we cutting up. We, so we it's good up. that I feel like like you know, when you when you up and coming, I feel like you gotta dump more money into like marketing, being seen, being yeah. heard first. So your money can like actually, you know, triple. Yeah. And then that's when everything else comes into place once you know you it's solid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially when you're still growing. Um, I think I bought my first Lambo when I was um like probably like two million dollars in, two, okay. three million. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And like I said, it was, and it was used and like it wasn't that bad. But cause like I said, those payments, like right now, um, the Lambo I got is twenty five thousand a month. That's a lot. Yeah. To people. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it can drag you down. It's just your pants. So it just damn. Goes to, what kind of Lambo? Twenty five thousand a month. You, you um, it's an all wings. One, one of three fifty. <laughs> it's one of the go, top un, go under the water. 
man, I'm telling you, that's what I was like. I'm like, didn't even know Lambos was that high. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's just you get to the different levels, and it's just like, man, this stuff gets higher and higher and higher. So yeah, just gotta stay on it, stay focused. Yeah, man, and and just like just like you know, I know we having this conversation and stuff, but like I said, I've been I've been in, admiring you for a while and stuff. It's it's mm-hmm. just dope, you know. You know, as somebody who was on the other side of a podcast like this, you know, really seeing it all come full circle. Yeah. You know, and, and really living this life. I, you know, like I said, I can I can pull up you know receipts on my phone. Like I said, it's it haven't been that long. You know, me running a funding company myself, and I I'm running up a bag, man. It's it, it's just crazy. Like whenever you really just decide to to lock in, right, and, and stop making excuses, and and stop being the one that's shooting yourself in the foot, you know, or making excuses for why you can't succeed. Yeah. You can really change your life. For sure. So I'm gonna pull this up just just cause just cause they're gonna they're gonna call it cap. This is my business right here. I'm gonna go at the top just so y'all can see that. And this ain't no screenshot. This is I'm gonna go back. Okay, so I'm gonna go May. And, and IRS if you watching this, I don't I don't got no money now. Um so just so y'all just so y'all know. Just so y'all know. Oh, that's hard. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, we definitely got to tap in. That's that's probably about 15 hours of work, 20 hours of work in a month, you know, completely. So, you know, a lot of people will make excuses and, and be like, oh, I don't know if I want to jump into that because it's because it's oversaturated. But like I said, if, if you got phone, laptop and a Wi-Fi, you know, you can learn this funding game. So, you know, yeah. I, I highly encourage, you know, anybody who who's looking to, to make an extra five to ten thousand a month to tap in. Right. And how old are you? I'm 29, so I turned Damn, 30. Yeah, so that's good, bro. yeah, so I, I said I, I said I'm gonna have my first million liquid before I'm 30. So you know I'm I'm really I'm I've been manifesting like 10, 10 million liquid. You know, we on the way. We getting there. Yeah, we getting there. You. Next time you see me, I'm gonna have probably something like that. I might go like I might go like <laughs> I might go like tennis chains with like like a B like billionaire base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely got to get you a yeah. little chain or something. Yeah. yeah. All right. So um, as far as where can everybody find you at as far as if they want to reach you? Yeah, so my Instagram is Billionaire Bays. So okay. you can look me up on Instagram. That's Billionaire. You know how to spell Billionaire. B-A-Z-E underscore. Yeah. The haters been taking me down, so I'm going to probably have another Instagram. But Billionaire Bays, and then I have my school community. My link is in my bio as well. We got over 500 students right now just going crazy, learning how to clean their credit on their own, build it out, get funding. And then in that program as well, I have, you know, the opportunity for people to book a call, you know, if they want to start their own funding business, you know, to, to join that, that program as well. And as far as your software, again, how much do that usually cost? So, so the software is 147 a month. So the beautiful thing about the software is you don't have to know any of the, the, the laws. A lot of people make excuses about not knowing the laws or, or not having, you know, the money to pay for credit repair. If you can't come up with $147 in we got some other conversations we need to have. You just not, you might not be using your time wisely. You know, you you can, you can go panhandle and, and get $147. You can make $147 door dashing for a couple hours. So exactly. the beautiful thing about that 147 though is, is what you get is not only while you're cleaning your own credit, you can use those, those general attacks or GAs is what we call them to service your, fa- your friends, your family and your loved ones. And, and you can run up a, a part-time and full-time bag while you're cleaning your own credit as well. Okay, so where's the wisdom to the fans right now that's watching? You know, what I mean? man, I just want y'all to look at look at somebody like me, man, and and see I'm not, you know, I, I'm not any different than y'all. You know, I'm I'm melanated, you know, and I'm not saying that that all people that look like me, you know, necessarily grow up in in not the best circumstances. But if I can do this, anybody literally can do this, you know. So if if you're looking to earn a part time or full time income, you know, really just just cut out the excuses. Somebody took that same situation with is, is nothing new under the sun. Somebody done took that same situation that you are in right now and ran with it. If somebody probably had a worse situation with you that ran with it. So you really need to really need to lock in and, and, and you can change your life and, and just put your head down and get to work and, and you'll look up. And, and honestly, like I said, you know, three, six months later, your life can be your life can be completely different. Hey, man, listen, I give a lot of opportunity on the podcast. So people that get on, make sure y'all take the opportunity and actually tap in with what they got going on. As y'all see, man, people give a lot of sauce, you know what I mean? And you have to take the information and use the information for what it's used for. Take notes, you know what I mean? Tap in with them. Follow these people, you know what I mean? Make sure y'all go to that band clan, University Man, at Patreon. 
and famous and wealthy, we out. <laughs>